match. Light them up. What's up, guys? X Dragon here, bringing you some team deathmatch here on Standoff. And today, I feel like talking Call of Duty. So, I haven't really played much. But I did manage to catch up on some of the Call of Duty Ghost information, including the multiplayer reveal. So, like everybody else out there, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Now, me being, like, pretty far off the Call of Duty boat now, like, I'm trying to stay, I'm, I'm like on the back of the boat ready to get off. Um... Learning about this Call of Duty Ghost information, sort of, kind of relevant, but I'm not really caring. I mean, some of the stuff is interesting to know about, you know, this new engine that they're supposed to be doing, and all this new stuff that they're putting in, but then again, it's a new Call of Duty. It's supposed to be, you know, new, it's supposed to be better, in quotations, better than the last one. And it's supposed to have all this new stuff. So, obviously, it's supposed to be better. And Black Ops 2, just sort of that meh feeling. I, I just can't play it for long, regardless of, you know, what I feel like playing or what I've been playing in the past or in the future or whatever. I just can't really play it for long. I can't sit down and say, let's play some Black Ops 2. But... Hearing about Call of Duty Ghosts and all this new stuff that's supposed to be in this game, it's kind of interesting, and it's trying to get me back into it. But it's, yeah, I want to see, I want to see release day stuff. So let me go over the, let me guess the two the two things that I found the most impressive about this reveal, and I only watched the multiplayer reveal. I didn't care about any of the extra information they said. Before and after. I think I saw the freaking Prestige Edition Jake and Amir breach thing. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm done with this. So, yeah. I've watched the reveal. And I watched the Jake and Amir skit. And that was it. I don't care about any of the other extra information. Um, I could probably just look it up anyway. So, the two things that I found the most, I don't know, stunning for me were relatively minor things now. So one of them was uh, customization of your character. Now, sure, there's minimal customization in some other games, but apparently there's supposed to be 20,000 unique combinations of players or something like that, of soldiers. It's okay. Not bad. I bet there's going to be DLC for that. You know, they want to get that extra money out of you. I mean, look what they did for everything in Black Ops 2. Holy cow. And the second thing that sort of caught my eye was the the mobility of your soldier. That's relatively minor, but it's kind of cool when you see, when you're aiming down sight, that you sort of lean out around a corner. That you slide into a gunfight. It's kind of cool that you get, like, this real military-type deal. Like... It's supposed to be a. I guess it's not supposed to be a military shooter. I guess Call of Duty is more of an arcade shooter? I don't know. Battlefield is more of the military shooter with all its stuff. But it's cool to see this minimal. Well, it's not minimal, but this, uh, this emphasis to real movement. Like, as if you're in a real gunfight. This is cool and all. Some of the weapons I looked at were pretty cool. I paused, like I recorded the multiplayer reveal. I paused throughout the video to see some of the weapons. It's cool and all. And I guess I can't wait to pick it up. But again, it's another Call of Duty. I want to see what they can do with this new engine. That's the big thing. This is their, this is supposed to be their engine. If I remember this right, they're making this engine. So it's their game. If they can't handle this, there needs to be some serious reworking done with who's in charge of this game series. But that is my opinion. I'd like to hear your guys' opinion. 
So leave it in the comments section down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and a comment. If you're new here, you might consider clicking that subscribe button to get notified on when I upload a new, upload a new video. Uh, next up is probably going to be League of Legends. I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes. I, I noticed that the new content on my channel isn't doing as well. But maybe that's because I was mainly a Call of Duty channel. And other things have happened since then. But I do hope you guys will enjoy the content. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And I'm out. Peace.